Hello everyone, my name is Philip from Scan Unlimited, and today I have exciting news. Uh, we are releasing a brand new feature, probably the most requested feature uh, we've had since we released uh, Scan Unlimited over two, two years ago, and that is the ability to check if Amazon is on a listing and also to check what price they're selling at. Okay, so I opened up a scan that I ran pretty recently, and I should note that this scan was run against the Amazon US Marketplace. Right now, the Amazon check is only available against the US Marketplace. Um, the other marketplaces are still in development. It shouldn't take us very long to, to have this feature uh, available for those other marketplaces, but for now, um, it can only work in uh, scans that were scanned against Amazon US. What you'll notice uh, when you open up a US scan that there's going to be an extra column and it's going to be called Amazon. And under Amazon, you will see these magnifying glasses. And uh, these are just buttons. And by clicking one of these, so for example, let's click this one right here. It'll start uh, gathering the information to see if Amazon is a seller and we see here that it pulled in a price of 1095 so Amazon is on the uh, on this detail page if you see this right here where it says zero that means Amazon is not on the listing and if you see um, uh, if it errors out, let's say it couldn't find Amazon, but there was an issue, it'll just return back and it'll go back to the button so that you can try again. Now, if you notice that that process took a little bit of time, not very long, maybe a second or two. Um, and that is the reason why we couldn't include it in the scan process, because as all of you know, um, Scan Unlimited is very, very quick with processing your files. And we didn't want to slow down that process to check every single listing if Amazon was selling and what their price was. But what we realized was that sellers weren't really concerned about if Amazon is on a listing, if the listing itself didn't meet your criteria in the first place. So what do I mean by that? So before the feature, most sellers apply some sort of uh, filters to uh, see if a listing is meeting their criteria. So I mean like sales rank being a certain number or ROI being a greater than some number. Because if it doesn't, if a listing doesn't meet that criteria in the first place, knowing if Amazon sells on that listing or not is not going to help you very much. So the best thing to do and what I recommend is to first apply those filters you were going to apply before, and then we're going to search if Amazon is on the listing and what price they're selling at. So let's do this now. So I'm going to click the filter button to bring up the uh, side nav and let's apply some basic filters that most people would apply. So let's search for less than, let's go with 30,000 sales rank. And let's say that it's not equal to zero because we don't want to see any zero sales rank. Let's go down to the profit area. Let's say greater than $3 and an ROI, uh, let's say greater than 80%, okay? And then it'll apply that filter, and you can see here that we have now 49 results from the, I think we had a few thousand when we first opened the file. Now, so once you've filtered the information and we want to see what, uh, which listings Amazon's on, instead of going through one by one, what we can do is instead of clicking this uh, magnifying glass like we did before, which you can, so you can click here and it will go and fetch it to see if Amazon's on the listing. What you can also do is actually if you click the, the check boxes here or you can select all and you can press this drop down. you can say check Amazon. And there's a little tool tip that says bulk check Amazon's price and in parentheses, you know, filtering your scan before checking Amazon's price is strongly recommended because it is a pretty lengthy process. So let's go ahead and click this and you'll see that 
it's going to go ahead and start checking if Amazon is in on any of these listings. So we can already see uh, right at the top that the first two listings does not have Amazon on the listing. And so for example, let's open this one. Um, and you can see it actually has a merchant fulfilled person that has the buy box. And if I go to the offers, I do not see, I see Amazon warehouse but not uh, a new Amazon offer. So this would be an, an, an example of Amazon not being on the listing. But as you can see, um, this one right here with Amazon being the same price as the buy box, we know a few things. One is Amazon is on the listing. And we also know that Amazon has the buy box right now. You can now further filter your scan. So let's go ahead and open the filter with Amazon, Amazon's price, what we're going to actually look for is equal to zero because remember what I said, zero means that uh, the software went was able to successfully look up if Amazon is selling that listing, but couldn't find Amazon there. So if we're, if we have, if we're searching for Amazon's price equals zero, we're essentially searching for listings that Amazon is not there. And here we go. We have a list of 30 uh, ASINs where Amazon is not on the listing. And we can check here just to show you. Amazon not on the listing. Check this one. Amazon not on the listing. Great. So great opportunities, great ROIs, great net profit numbers, and really great sales rank. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys take advantage of the feature. Uh, we want to hear your feedback and suggestions on the feature. This is essentially kind of our phase one. We are going to continuously improve this feature so that it's faster and um, uh, more useful for sellers in order to be able to make sourcing decisions. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a like and also uh, consider subscribing to get more information and tips and tricks on sourcing uh, wholesale to sell on Amazon. Till next time, guys. See ya. Bye.